expects Canada to try to get after a very tough German side. Underway here at BC Place. Sinclair racing away. Christine Sinclair in all alone. Christine Sinclair can't beat her Portland Thorn teammate, Nadine Unger. Shot from long range, off the bar. As LeBlanc was caught off her line, the Germans almost opened the scoring here on a very heads up play by Alexandra Pop. <laughs> Anya Mittag coming in. Mittag steps around LeBlanc, but LeBlanc dives at her feet and makes a huge stop for Canada. Simone Lauder with some room, sends in a ball near post, flicked on by Mittag at the back post. It's finished off nicely there by Lena Laustin. The Germans are on the board. Kessler pushes over Fleming. Pop to Mittag. Mittag trying to get by LeBlanc. Goes wide left, sends the cross in, back post. And somehow, some way, Bianca Schmidt misses the mark. Balls that are left short. You need to ping that ball around. Matheson. Schmidt. And it's in. Oh my goodness. A knuckler. But Sophie Schmidt has tied it. Catching the play-by-play -play and fans off guard. She does quickly throw it in. Desiree Scott called for the penalty. Simon Lauder. Clinical. It's 2-1 Germany. Kadisha Buchanan plays it early. Pop in alone. Pop. Aaron McLeod absolutely unconscious. And there is the final whistle. Canada falling 2-1 to Germany. 2-1 to a very good German team is a respectable result. They were certainly outplayed. But there were moments for Canada that they can take good things from. And again, integrating these young, new players into the system and giving them the opportunity to play against the best in the world is going to only put these players in good stead ahead of the tournament next year.